Hello, welcome to Learner's Guide Tutorial Agency. Uh, in this lesson, we are continuing with coordinate geometry. Uh, the subtopic is uh, finding the midpoint. So there are two important uh, uh, skills that you need to develop. One, uh, finding the midpoint. Two, finding the values of uh, variables having been given uh, the midpoint. And uh, the last one is what they like uh, most in an exam. So midpoint, something that they are saying mid, okay, something that they are saying mid, that is a half, okay, that is a half, and the half is what, 1 over 2. So we are finding average of a line, the midpoint, if you have a straight line, okay, you have a straight line like this, so what's the value of the half part, the midpoint, so if this is 10, then the midpoint here is 5 because that is 10 over 2, it will give me what? 5. So that is a, a midpoint. So let us look at the, uh, the example formula. Midpoint formula is equal to x. You add similar letters x1 plus x2, not x plus y, no. Divide by 2, half midpoint. Then y1 plus y2, okay, plus y2, that is uh, uh, the midpoint as well for that coordinate, y coordinate. Then as usual, we have to label as we do uh, for finding gradient, we need to, to label as well. <coughs> so, the examples, examples, find the midpoint of x comma negative 7 and 5 comma 1 so in coordinate geometry they like negative numbers so go through the video for uh, foundation mathematics okay uh, basics of mathematics integers so that you, you don't have problems please do revise integers always so if you have challenges you let me know so that we clear that that, that part so that you are able to to find no any challenges when it comes to dealing with the calculations involving uh, uh, integers. <coughs> so we label this is x one, y one. Then we have x two, y two. So I will bring now the formula for midpoint. I will say midpoint, okay, is equal to uh, x. 1 plus x2 over 2, okay, y comma, you put a comma there, y1 plus y2 over 2, okay, so in this case, I'll put my, my x1, that is 3, I'll say 3 plus my x2 is 5 over 2, I put a comma there, my y1 is C negative 7 plus y2 that is e plus 1 over 2 like this so in this case 3 plus 5 it's 8 over 2 okay then here remember the rule for integers adding numbers of different signs subtract and pick the sign of the bigger number so i'll just say 7 minus 1 okay 7 minus 1 so it will give me what 6 now, the question, you ask yourself a question. 7 and 1, the bigger number, if it was not an integer, is 7. What sign does it have? It has a negative. So, this is a negative 6. So, in this case, negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. Okay, divide by 2. So, here, this is uh, 2 into 80. How many times can it? 2 go into 8. 2 here is 1. 2 there is 4. So this is 4, comma. 2 there, 1. 2 into this one is what? Negative 3. Remember, negative divided by positive, the answer is a negative. Negative divided by positive, the answer is what? Negative. So this is the, uh, where it is coming from. So negative 3. So this is the midpoint. So you can say, therefore, Midpoint, my pen is something else. Mid, 
midpoint is equal to uh, that is the, the answer we come to uh, the midpoint we come to the midpoint uh, whose value is given so finding the variables given the midpoint values so here we are saying the point 5 comma 2 is the midpoint so already keyword the midpoint is the midpoint so this is the midpoint of the straight line joining x comma 9 3 comma y find the value of x and y so we find the value of x and y so already since they have mentioned that the midpoint is given for us to find the uh, the values for x and the x and the y we should do uh, equate okay the midpoint to the formula the midpoint equate the midpoint to the formula for finding midpoint so what we say first of all you write the formula midpoint so i'll write from here so we say we say our midpoint formula midpoint is equal to x2 x1 sorry plus x2 over 2 then comma y1 plus y2 over 2 like this so since we know the midpoint is 5 so where there is the term midpoint we put what is this value so this is 5 comma 2 okay which is equivalent to then our points here this is our x1 this is our y1 x2 y2 so in this case we have x1 we put that is x plus x2 is 3 over 2 comma then y1 y1 is 9 plus y y2 that is y then over 2 so here basically we are dealing with the fractional equations so you equate the values so in this case this is our x and this is our y so x value 5 will be equated to x values and y values will be equated to this one so this one will be equated to this one and this one will be equated to this one okay so don't draw arrows i'm just doing this for the purpose of explaining yours is just to write clean okay so in this case i'll say 5 is equal to x plus 3 over 2 comma then 2 is equal to 9 plus y over 2 so as you can see these are fractional equations so here you put denominator 1 any number without a denominator the denominator is 1 like that then what do you do with fractional uh, equations tip for fractional equations cross cross multiply okay and then then you solve you solve for either x or y whichever letter they they have given you so don't just focus on uh, x and y they can bring any letter but you need to know the concept so in this case i'll cross multiply so once you you have this what do you do if you start with the numbers five times this to give you 10 the the x will be on your right so you have to rearrange so to avoid that you start with where the letter x the, the, the letter is so x plus y times it one so it's the same as one time so one times everything there is the same thing so x plus three is equal to five times two here i also start with where y is so one times everything there that is uh, nine plus y the answer so i'll say nine plus y is equal to two times two so i was starting with the letters because i want the subject to be on my left hand side the, the way it's supposed to do to be so this time this is 10 so x plus 3 is equal to 10 then 9 plus y is equal to 4 
So in this case, this is x is equal to 10. When this goes to the other side, okay, it will become negative. So minus 3. So x is equal to 7. And when this goes there, it will be minus. So the number which is after the the equal sign should be maintained there, it should not change. So what is coming should go in front of this number. So this is y is equal to 4 minus 9. So this is x is equal to 7, comma, 4 minus 5. It's the same, subtracting numbers of different signs. So you just subtract 9 minus 4. My answer is 5. So now I ask myself a question. 4 and 9. Which one is bigger? 9. What's the sign? Negative. So this is negative 5. So in this case, y is equal to negative 5. So we have found the values for x. x is equal to 7, y is equal to negative 5. So when you use these values, okay, you use these values, you substitute in the formula, you are going to find the same values for 5, comma 2. So this marks the end of our lesson today. Be sure to practice, watch the video several times so that you understand the concept. Thank you.